Hey there, guys. Welcome. That Raven Mad and Fedithin. How's it going, guys? Welcome, everybody else. We are back in the horrible mess. Uh, I am pretty much just going to tear this entire thing up. Alright, so uh, how's everybody doing? Hope you're having a uh, good Wednesday. I am going to, uh, I need to look up a picture here and see what is actually doable with this. Uh, but pretty much the gist of it is we need to just tear all of this up because it's, it's terrible. <laughs> it hurt, it hurts to look at. Ermichi, hey, how are you doing? Yeah, this is all just an absolutely terrible mess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, so I think what we're going to do is actually alternate. Um... I think we're actually going to alternate the, like, what side the circuits are on, and that should hopefully kind of help things here. Uh, good, good. Are you going to build the thing I sent you? Uh, was that you? I, I mean, I don't know. Is that you? Is that you? I didn't get, like, is your, your name must be different on Discord? Traffic cone with 20 bits. Thank you so much. How's it going, traffic cone? Building with the old... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm looking at. Okay, Robin. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Um, yeah, that's what I'm using for reference here, actually. Um, figuring out... My brain kind of hurts looking at this a little bit. But I think I understand how this is going to work. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, we still need to tear most of this up, honestly, because it's just, it's awful. <laughs> this is no good, man. This is no good. So what I'd like, I'd like to get this done today, and then I'd like to also just get the steel build and the red circuit build actually made, like built. It's kind of, uh, kind of what I'm hoping for. All right, so... Um, let's see, if we look at this picture, we have, so plastic, so then that one would go, like, here. So we would actually be switching these, is, is what's going to happen. Uh, this one would be, like, here. And then what could happen, right, is this comes up like this, and it could actually go directly in, which I think we're going to, yeah, we have to do if we want these belts to go straight like that. Uh, so by alternating this, by having circuits on this side and then circuits on this side, uh, it's going to allow us to kind of make this uh, theoretically a lot cleaner, hopefully. Uh, I think there's still gonna be spaghetti though, like coming from the rest of this, just because this doesn't all line up, so there's gonna be some spaghetti out this way. Uh, which, could be an issue, but we'll see. Uh, so then this guy is gonna come out like so. Okay, so if this one's there, then this one would need to be the top. Okay, so we're switching these again, pretty All much. Right. And we just know that the other the other lane here is going to be plastic, is essentially what's going to happen. So there we go. Let's bring these out. And uh, Flamewa, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Much appreciated. How are you doing? 
I'll show you my thought for copper later when I get a chance. I just need space for red builds plus one bus of copper. Sounds good, Hope. Um, oh, by the way, Hope, while you're here for a second, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red builds. That's what you wanted to know. Uh, will you use drones? Um, I will not be using logistics robots, no. I mean, I have been using construction bots to, like, build stuff. But, uh, but no, I won't be using logistics bot. This is a belt-only base. Um, if you... Let me see. If you'd like to see, um... If you'd like to see a uh, bot base I've done, you can check out my Sending Supporters to Space series on YouTube. That is an entirely bot-based factory. Um, it's actually a much bigger factory than this. Okay, so that takes care of those. I'm just making sure I actually have all of these correctly. Uh, and then this one, this one's going to be interesting. Uh, this one can come in really from either side, I suppose. Hey, Geeson, how are you doing, man? And Foolhardy, how are you? Great, thanks. Keep up the entertaining streams. Uh, I will do, and thank you again for the sub. Slimer. Around the right number. Nice. So what are those chests? Um, they're just for markers. Um, they're just markers so I know what goes where. We're not actually going to use the bots here. Where's your 15 series on YouTube at present? Loving the train setup. Uh, which one is that? You mean the 015 Sim series? Yeah, that one, if that's what you're talking about, that is one of my favorite series I've ever done. I absolutely love that one. Um, so then plastic is going to come through here, and this is going to be a little bit interesting. Because um, the problem is... Uh, foolhardy. Good, I'm glad you're doing well. Um, so, Ermichi, the one problem uh, with the thing you showed... Um... Actually, I don't think it's a problem. I'm just dumb, apparently. I think. Okay, the plastic. I'm not quite sure how the plastic's going to work, to be honest. Um, but let's go ahead and get this set up. So, and I still, my calculations still seem off. I think I said I needed 16 of these for blues. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, 4, 6, I think that, I hope that's right. Do plastic exactly like the circuits? Well, it has to still somehow come over here. Um, okay, so this is going to be a full belt. Uh, let's actually, let's connect these up first, these blue circuit ones, just so we kind of have spacing in mind here. I think that's going to be a good idea. Uh, last picture includes the last one on each row. You can easily put a splitter top, bottom, and just run underground ball on the other side. All right. And when you get so many belts in a row like this, it looks like uh, it looks like some of them are like running other directions. Uh, why not group them eight and eight? Um, because there's no good reason, actually. Uh, because I had calculated a different number before, and I'm not sure... I'm not sure which, ca I'm not sure which number is right. I'm not sure if it's 16 or 18 belts. I think 16. So these could actually go like this. You want me to do the curves closer to the green circuits, Hope? Um, I mean, I could, I suppose. I'm not sure it matters that much. Make undergrounding easier. I mean, what am I going to need to underground here?
Okay, so those connect in there. You have less headache for plastic. Um, I mean, maybe. I don't know where oil's going, actually. I was gonna kind of put oil down here, but that's actually like super inconvenient. Now, now that I'm looking at it, that's like insanely inconvenient. So I'm not actually sure. We can arrange these later. Like, I just need to get these hooked up a little bit for my head to be on straight. Okay, there we go. Um, so then this is the first plas or the first uh, circuit one, which really could just go here and then just like that. Um, and then this one, it doesn't really matter which side it's on. There we go. Yeah, I could always build a canal for oil. Um, well, it's the down here isn't inconvenient for the water. It's inconvenient because of getting the finished product somewhere. I wanted it down here somewhere because there's already tons and tons of oil over here. I could train it, I suppose, but even that's going to be kind of a pain. So I'm not entirely sure yet, like, how I want to do this. So let's, let's lop those off. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that goes there, and then this one guess it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, that one can go there, and then let's see, this guy needs to go here. Oh my goodness, stop it. How many green circuit rows are there? Um, builds? There's 16, so we have 32 belts out. Yeah, using the canal mod, yeah. I mean, that's... But, but the water's not the problem. Is what I'm saying. It's the oil. Like the oil itself. There's, um, seven, or wait, what? There's seven red builds, uh, Emerchi. Emerchi, yeah, there's seven red builds. Four bits, ad bits, thank you, Keithan. <laughs> Those are like the first ad bits you've ever given, aren't they? I would suspect so. If only all the others could be this clean. This still looks like terrible, but... Why are my copper inputs not right? Oh, his? Yeah. Well, so this and this is copper. I don't actually know how I'm gonna have room for all this stuff. I think we're, pro we're probably gonna have to do some more rearranging, I suspect. Like, definitely some more rearranging. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how this is supposed to work. Like six or seven. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and then this one, I mean, this one could just go here. So this is only half of a belt, though. So so this one's gonna turn up, like that, and then this one, this one needs to like split somewhere. This one can actually split 
over here somewhere. You know, because this doesn't look horrible at all. <laughs> Wait. Oh, it's 1.08 belts of copper. So you have two copper belts, even though one of them's going to be, like, pretty much entirely empty. Yeah, I'd be interested to see how you're going to handle that, because <laughs> I certainly don't have an idea on how to handle that. Well, this is a bit cleaner, I suppose. Okay, let's go ahead and clean all these out. Stupid trees. We don't want you on our map. Alright. Uh, so, the copper. I'm not... I don't have a clue how the copper is going to get here. I mean, it's going to have to come from over here. So, like... I don't know. Um... <laughs> Because we also need one, two, three, four, five, six. So this tw yeah, so this is gonna have to. The copper is gonna ha have to come from here and come down the other direction. Hmm. That one's gonna be a little bit interesting. How we're gonna fit all this with the plastic as well. Come on, bots, you can do it. This is like so much stuff. Turn the green belts earlier. Well, these won't have any effect whatsoever. And these, I can't really... I mean, I could turn a bit earlier, I suppose. Looking at this hurts my head. Yeah, me too. Good boy. <laughs> this hurts my head, too. I think we just need to, like, contract Mojo to come in and finish the base for us. I think that may be a good idea. So I have a blueprint here for this. I like can't even, I can't copy this whole string. Um, you may have to do pace spin, Emergy. This is like, this doesn't work. Yeah. Like, there's still a letter at the end, and it won't let me copy the whole thing. Um, okay. Let's go get some more belts and such. We need so many undergrounds, it's ridiculous. I don't like pictures. Blueprints are better. But Hope likes drawing very incoherent pictures. One full belt of green plastic, which won't split, though. But see, that is extra. And, like, a little, like, whale or dolphin up here. I am not liking the idea of moving the station. In fact, what I want to do while I'm over here... Um, I think we want to make two stations. We want to make another drop-off station over here. Because that one's now super inconvenient for everything except steel. Thunderrail's picture is very accurate. <laughs> it may have been accurate, but it wasn't understandable.
Okay, so this one is called Mega Base Supply Drop. So we'll just say Mega Base Supply Drop 2. Got it? Dude, I have so many blueprints, it's ridiculous. Alright. I have a feeling this is just not gonna work whatsoever with what I've already built. <laughs> Kind of as I thought. Wait, what? Okay. But we need like, I think we need a full, I don't know how many belts of plastic this takes. So, I mean, it's half, but then, like, how much is this? So, it, does it take, like, one and a half belts of plastic per build? If that's the case, I don't think this has enough plastic. Because this is feeding everything with, like, one line, right? Ish. Okay, no, I guess it's not. Never mind. Well, it's, like, feeding... I don't know, it's really hard to tell on the blueprint. 1.4 per build, okay. Um, let me, this train is double-headed, so it should be able to come over to here. What? Oh. <laughs> Might help if I actually added the extra rail. Iron Wolf. How are you doing? Hello. All right, uh, so we need to go get more materials. More materials, uh, primarily belt. We need a ridiculous amount of underground belt for this stuff. Once I connect up this track, we should be able to uh, pretty easily have this train come over here. Hey, alien, what's up? Everything good? Everything's going pretty well, how are you? And Andre Bosa. Welcome, how are you doing? Hey, there it goes. Good, I've been playing myself, but had a conference call I had to jump on. <laughs> All good. It's awesome you've been playing. You need 10.5 belts of each. Interesting, okay. 10 belts of plastic, man, that's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. All right, let's go refill. Yeah, we used every single underground that was in here. Made a mini blueprint error, check Discord for the fix. That's a deadline. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, and this end. Glad to hear it. Alright. Uh, we I feel like we still need to... Wait, what? Ew. Interesting. How did that happen? Oh, it's because I sent it to the other station like an idiot. Huh. Whoops. All 
Okay, well... <laughs> I guess what we need to do then... Screw you, tree. Well, clearly this is going to work great. Please no train, please no train. This is how you destroy your trains, dudes. Don't, uh, don't do this. Kids already asleep, so I can watch you. Nice. Yeah, Red Z's more. Yeah, so does the Steel. Hope you have a knack for that. Back later, update the map on the site if you get a chance. Okay. Think I'm almost caught up with the series on YouTube. I wanted to tell you at this, yell at you at the screen when you were making Green Circuit build. Why? What did I do for the? What did I mess up on the Green Circuit build? I don't remember. How many robots do you have in the main base? Uh, not very many, Carlos, because uh, this is mostly a belt base. I have like 150 or something. I was just getting there. <laughs> Alright, let's have these bots take all this stuff. They're all busy doing that. I think we need to add more bots to the network. I was making them somewhere, and I actually have no idea where. I have robot speed 7. So apparently I was handcrafting them? Okay. Oh yeah, batteries changed. That threw me off a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty. Drop these dudes off. Do I need more? I probably almost need more storage chests, huh? No, I guess not. Placing them out like this is really nice because then they can just instantly take the stuff from my inventory. I wonder if they get a cease and desist from Duracell. Why would they? The new battery looks nothing like Duracell. The old one did. Oh, if they got. Sorry, I misread. My bad. Yeah. Um, I doubt it. I mean, that'd be kind of funny if they did. <laughs> uh, they did kind of just use graphics like that. Too gray. Yeah, I mean, that is kind of true. I mean, it, it has like this kind of nice blue like tints to it, but it is a little bit hard to pick out from things for sure. None undergrounds. Wow. Doesn't look good on a blue belt. The uh, the batteries, yeah, not not so great, unfortunately. I don't need these frames. Could put these back really quick. I think I'm out of prod modules. We need to go get. Um, 
you know, get prod modules. Didn't I have a tank? I know I had a tank somewhere. Here it is. We need to go refill our broad modules here. Hopefully not kill anything on the way. Red Star gets our looking kind of thin. Due to no plastic, which... Er... Is it plastic? Yeah. We're only doing half a belt, which I, I think it's a petroleum issue again. I'd imagine. Yeah, these are literally taking all the petroleum. It's still an oil problem. I mean, I kind of figured that would happen. Right. Um, I'm speed 7 for robots. I'm not to kill anything on the way. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I think last time I went to do this, I nuked myself. I know we're trees. Trees don't count. Are you kidding me? Hey, President of the Sun, let's get run over by trains. <laughs> Thank you for the two-month resub. Very much appreciated, man. Wow. Yowzers. That is quite a lot of modules. Should last us for a while, right? We've already used like over two. We've already this is gonna, if we once we use these, it's gonna be like four and a half or five thousand modules we've used, I think. This is reminding me of sending supporters to space. Although I think that one used like 15k of each or something. Nope, oh, I almost hit the rock. Alright. Let's sit back here, drop these in, and then go back down. Stupid rocks! Wow, I almost just drove straight into that train. This has nuclear fuel, right? Yeah. That's a build, don't hit it. I love that you don't take damage from trees anymore. It's fantastic. Actually, we can't even carry all this in the train. That's fine. I can carry some on my person. Just take all of those, too. Uh, let's go to drop two, since that's actually closer to where we need to go. I think that's going to be best. I don't actually know, like, how the rest of our outposts are doing. Not too well, I suspect. I've kind of just been focusing on building the mega base, but not really considered how much materials it's actually taking to build it. So for all I know, we have, like, no materials, but I'm hoping that's not the case. <laughs> Um, I guess I'm just going to grab, like, all the undergrounds. Uh, we were missing assemblers, too, weren't we? Tank fly, hey, what's up? Okie dokie. My team holds me back. Hey, what's going on? Are we still missing stuff in these builds? Speed modules, which of course I don't have. <laughs> of course. We are missing substations too. Actually, we're missing a ton of substations. I'm pretty sure I automated those. I just haven't requested them into the train yet. Or no, maybe I did. I'll be back. I actually have no recollection on <laughs> if I did that or not. I guess we'll find out when we go back to the train, huh? And, uh, Southpaw, thanks for the follow. Welcome. These poor bots. They're having a hard time. 
So very many undergrounds to place, it's ridiculous. There's like random red crap in here. Why is there like red belt in here? What is this? Oh, this is for the... Oh, well that's a pain. I guess I'm gonna have to get some red belt. I didn't even know that was in the blueprint. What kind of stuff is Hope building here? Should have brought the tank down. I don't really need the tank. I mean, I guess it would have been a little faster, but... Had to take a break, break died by a train too many times. <laughs> oh dear. Not even half of the build and we're already out of undergrounds when I brought like 500 of them. This is nuts. Um, the red belt is for it. It's um, the export for the cables or for, not the cables, some of the red circuits and then they sideload here. It's a little bit wonky, but Exterminator, besides Factorio, what simulation games do you like? Simulation games? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I would say satisfactory, except it's not out yet. <laughs> uh, I mean, I like most, like, city building management games, like City Skylines. I don't know if that counts as a simulation. Um, I like RTS games a lot, typically. Right on top of the ore patch too. We're gonna have to get rid of this. This is, this burns my eyes, man. Skylines would be a sim like this. Okay, yeah. I haven't played in a very long time, but I definitely enjoy City Skylines. Management games in general. Uh, yeah, so like Skylines, um... God, I marked all these crap. It's a lot of trees. Uh, yeah, so like City Skylines, um... I mean, Software Inc. I like, um... I mean, like any city building RTS game. Why not put concrete on the patch, right? <laughs> oh man, that'd be so bad. You should do a city sky a skyline series. I wow the belts. Hey, DDD gamer, the belts are crazy. More Robo ports. We do need more. Although at this point, we're actually just out of materials. Um, so Geeson, I've thought about it, and I've, I've actually done some in the past. The problem is, I do find that I lose interest in City Skylines somewhat quickly. Like, I enjoy it for a while, and then I just kind of don't know what to do and lose interest. And I kind of try to stray away from, like, a series where we're going in. I know that it would end, like, abruptly, because I would just lose interest. Um, unfortunately. So I edit my paste bin link to a new one without the deadline in case you would forget. All right, thank you, man. Hey, Bash, what's going on? Raven Mad, how are you? Tower Defense? Uh, yeah, I like Tower Defense games, like the video I just did. Uh, I personally am a bit more of a fan of like the Warcraft 3 custom mode Tower Defenses, but uh, I mean, Tower Defense is, is one of those, is a genre of game where like, I also get tired I'll of it really back. quickly. I shouldn't say really quickly, but... Um, yeah, it's a genre, like tower defense is one of those genres for me where, you know, after maybe like 10 hours playing, I'm kind of done with it. PS Gamer for 18 years so far and I'm really liking other types of games. There are many good indie games. And one's coming out. I definitely agree, Southpaw. Um, I was an FPS gamer for quite a long time, too. And I still, like, I still play Fortnite. Do you play Fortnite? Out of curiosity. Uh, so, yeah. It's, um... And Jazz Momo, thanks for the follow. There are a ton of good indie games, for sure. Yes, Warcraft 3. Warcraft 3 is so good, man. It's ridiculous. Love me some Warcraft 3 mods. Yeah, Warcraft 3 custom games were like 
my favorite thing ever a long time ago. I still really enjoy them. Like, I'd love to play them, but, uh, but no one... I can never find anyone to play them with. So, I, mean, I mentioned this to some other streamers. I'm looking forward to your gameplay of Satisfactory, specifically you versus the trainees. Now that shall make some satisfactory <laughs> content. Yeah, man. I can absolutely not wait until Satisfactory comes out. Like, unless it's just absolutely nothing like they portrayed in the trailer, or it's just buggy to the point of being unplayable, unless one of those two things happens, I think I'm just going to enjoy it, like, so much. I mean, I I'm just gonna... <laughs> it's gonna be so amazing, I think. I prefer Realm Royale. Ugh. I watched some streamers play that. I do I'm not a fan. Are we out of, we're out of speed models already? Jeez. I mean, satisfactory. I mean, it looks it looks pretty mind blowing if they do it right for sure. Hey, Matthew, what's up? There's still this stupid problem with bots where there's like this lag for them placing things, uh, modules and machines. It's really annoying. I kind of wish the devs would figure out a way to fix it. Yeah, I hope they can walk the walk. Uh, Geesing, yes, it's going to have up to four player co-op. I think maybe more than four players, but four players is the recommended max. Uh, so that would definitely be something that like Will and I would play, or I'll play with uh, with you guys, like on the community play days. I mean, that co-op, I think that would be so awesome. But having one map only does not attract me, but sounds a good game anyway. I mean, yeah, it's one map, but it depends how it's done. Like, if they randomize the resources, I think it could be good. If, if the resources are, like, in the same exact spot every time, I think it may get a little bit old. But even then... You know, there's still, like, you can, like, figure out different ways to design your factory each time. I hope some satisfactory, but I'm a little hesitant with it turning out like No Man's Sky. Well, I mean, they're entirely different devs, so I wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't worry about that. Are you still going to play Factor Factorio when Satisfactory comes out? The world is limited, so I don't know how that's going to work. I wonder how Satisfactory will affect Factorio. Uh, yes, I will still play Factorio. There will probably be a little bit of a gap. Uh, like, when, if Satisfactory is anything as good as it seems like it's going to be, um, when that comes out, I will probably be putting out mass videos of that, and there may be a little gap, like, break of Factorio. I mean, there's still going to be the spotlights and stuff, but in terms of an actual series... What's happening, buddy? Hey, Lord Foxy. Not much. How are you doing? Um, I foresee 50-50 times split between Satisfactory and Factorio, the devs make a good game. Um, and how I think it will affect Factorio, I think it, I think when it first comes out, it may affect Factorio negatively, because people are going to be rushing to that. Um, but after a while, I think it's just going to benefit Factorio, because anyone who plays Satisfactory is going to be, like, looking for similar games, and if they, and then they would find Factorio if they don't already know about it turn it to Frogger for you. <laughs> yes. I know uh, you would definitely do that, Geeson. <laughs> like, Subnautica combined with Factorio, Subnautica had the crafted map, and it was still interesting. Yeah. I mean, it, it limits things a little bit, but really... I mean, I guess it's just... I'll be back. Like, personal preference, but... Um, now we're missing some asserters or something down here. Um, I know it's personal preference, but like, I don't even, like, for me, the, the randomized maps in Factorio aren't really even the main thing that make it interesting. I mean, don't get me wrong, it makes it interesting, but for me, that's like one of the smaller things that makes it interesting. So not having that, I don't think is that big of a deal.
hello, there's things here to do, bots. Chilling, what are you up to in Factorio? Uh, I'm trying to build out these uh, these builds, this red circuit build over here, and uh, figure out some belt routing and such. I'll be back. 1.1k items missing. I know, right? It makes my head hurt. And Frobond and Full Hardy, thanks for the follows, guys. Alright, I think that was everything ish. I don't know. We'll find out when stuff doesn't work. You know, we'll progress the genre as a whole and both games will benefit. Exactly. This, oh my goodness, this lag time for bots to place modules and beacons is really annoying. It doesn't seem, well, no, it, no, it's in, uh, it's in machines too. It's not just, just, it's not just machines either. I'm just running through here to make sure we haven't forgotten anything. I don't think so. Okay, so now we need to figure out how copper is going to come down here and how plastic is going to go up. I'm going to grab that blueprint, I think, that Richie did. Try to, like, build out as much of this as I can right now. Need the substations, of course. And a bajillion more undergrounds. 1.1k items missing. Um, it's gone down a little bit. Um, so, yeah, man. I mean, really, I just hope Satisfactory comes out this year. Like, or, or more importantly, I hope I get into the alpha. <laughs> I'm going to be so upset if, like, some people I know get into the alpha and I don't because... Making videos of it is going to be so important. Like, as you saw, like, if you've been keeping an eye on how well the video did that I made, like, comparing the two games, like, that shows how important it's going to be to be able to make videos of Satisfactory as soon as possible. Uh, Oxfress, welcome. How are you doing? Hello. All right, I think that's about everything. Hey, this is actually kind of starting to look like a base. Watching your bots reach that aura really hurts my eyes. <laughs> Me too. Some of the alpha. Alright, so let me uh, grab this updated thingy bob. So, uh, an interesting idea, I had someone in my, uh, in the last video of tightening the belt here, someone had an interesting playthrough idea of playing, like, in a limited, like, circular world. They said that they had, like, the all the ore and resources spawn in the middle, and then they limited the map, like, using the map editor. They created, like, a 200 or 400 tile across circle that they had to build a factory in. I'm thinking of doing like a little mini series with that or something. That sounds really interesting. I wonder, like, I don't know, would you guys be interested in watching something like that? Because it would definitely turn into something like Spaghetti Western, but probably even more amplified. Stem, do you like this kind of music? Check it out. Uh, I do like songs by them, Alien. I'm not a huge fan of that particular song. But yes, kind of. People just know how to interact with a live liver person any more wrong number just hung up, didn't even say, sorry, wrong number. Are you sure it wasn't just like a solicitor, like an automated person? Um, okay, so the problem is this blueprint doesn't match with my stuff. So it's gonna like, screw up. <laughs> Screw up what I'm doing here. Um, actually, it's like totally different, even. Now I'm confused. Or wait, is that plastic? No, that's circuit. Okay, well, see, this goes like the wrong direction. Ugh. This is totally backwards. <laughs> I 
I mean, I suppose this would work. Ish. If you get in, I want in. <laughs> what, into the alpha? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> As for a name that said it exists. Damn. Derp. Uh, okay, well, I mean... I'm not sure how this is going to work, really. I don't foresee this going particularly well. I think I might have just, like, goofed my whole setup by doing this, but... Okay, so this is plastic, then. We need undergrounds for this to actually work. Yeah, I was having a little trouble placing it. Wasn't Charles in the circular map thing? Was he? I didn't know that he was. I remove all those inputs and just place a blueprint. You goofed indeed. Well, but I don't like just... I mean, why is mine... I think mine works. I don't know why yours is different. Pretty sure mine worked. But we don't even have undergrounds. Gotta be kidding me, dude. in the discord um if circle map has already taken hexagon map is for you <laughs> i mean what makes a circle map interesting is it's there's no solid edges so it like really kind of forces you to like really weave stuff around Well, dang. I guess we do. I don't understand why this one's so much different than mine. What did I do? Yeah, dude, those 80 gears for each underground is kind of absurd. I've discussed this already. But, uh... <laughs> this is, like, part of what's kind of silly about the bot versus belt argument that the, some of the devs are presenting is it's like if bots are better than belts why would you also then make belts more expensive like <laughs> it doesn't make sense you know it's like why would you make the thing that's worse cost more I mean, cost isn't the only thing. I mean, that, don't get me, that's not what I'm saying. But, like, still, you know, like, come on. <laughs> they're complaining. Like, they're saying, you know, they want to nerf bots and, and belts aren't as good. It's like, well, step one would probably be to make belts not insanely more expensive than bots. I mean, that may help, right? Um, Wait, hold on. What? Boom. Boom, boom. Shit. I screwed up. Now I'm really confused. Bruh. Now this is wrong. Dude, I did it right the first time. I think he sent, he sent me a, uh, this blueprint isn't going to work. Unless that's plastic. Oh, is this plastic then? Oh, this is plastic. Well, balls. What goes, what goes where then, man? I'm so confused. Okay, this does work, I guess. Well, it's not take processing instead of advanced circuits. I mean, like, I'd be fine with that. I think logistics bots are too cheap. Okay, well, crap. Well, but how am I supposed to know which one of these is plastic and which one's circuits? Okay, so this is obviously plastic. I think. Maybe. <laughs> uh. 
I actually have no idea. I guess so. Okay, so we hooked this one up. We didn't do this one. We did this one. We don't do that one. We did this. Don't do that. And then do this. And then this one would just... Wait, what? God damn it. <laughs> this is so confusing, dude. I don't know. Okay, sure. This goes here. This one goes here. Er, wait, no. Yeah. Close enough. Oh my god, it's pseudo concern. It's correct. Uh, need to put some filter inserts on the blueprint to make no inputs. I wonder if there's a factorial mod that transforms the map into a cube. A cube? How would that work? It's not a three. The map can't be three D. What? <laughs> um, okay, so that hooks these up. So plastic, copper is in there. Um, so we need splitters. I know we're missing. I could have sworn we were missing fast inserters somewhere. Maybe it was on the smelters that we were missing fast inserters. That could certainly be. I think I do need more row ports. This range is not very good. Not very good at all. Aha, I knew we were missing fast inserters here. <laughs> oh, Geeson, as always, man, deeply appreciate the bits. Thank you so much, dude. Brain.exe is using up all external PC resources. Would you like to close this application? <laughs> yes, I would. Can I close the application and put it to sleep? That would be great. <laughs> Brain not exe not responding. Force closing it. Ah, I'll I knew we were back. missing stuff. Jonas, Jonas Steroid and Johnny Power. Thanks for the follows, guys. I am out of modules. I bet. Yep. Oh, we didn't actually I'll module like most of this, I suppose. That's unfortunate. Hmm. All right. Hopefully there's more undergrounds made for us. That'd be cool. Tiny man, it's, it's those gears. The gears are uh, killing us here. All right. So I think all we're missing on the main smelters is a couple of modules. I really wish I could listen to music. I really want to listen to music, but I upload these to YouTube and that doesn't work out so good. YouTube doesn't like that. I wonder if what Exterm has built will start at all. Highly doubtful. Can I ask about your stream settings? Um, sure, like, what do you want to know? Like, all of them? Or my bitrate? Okay, well, we need to go back.
Uh, no, I, I do not have the power to run all this. I need to majorly upgrade my power plant, like, tenfold. Okay, maybe not tenfold, but a lot. We're already, like, three quarters maxed. Sweet. Get rid of all this stupid wood and stone, please. We relocate the power? I don't think so. I don't think I need to. I don't think it's necessary. I can just build it this way and then above. Um, have you tried out Pretzel Rocks, royalty free Spotify like app? Um, I have not. I can look into it, although I will say that I am almost always not really a fan of most royalty free music. Like, in terms of what it sounds like. Out of all the songs I've listened to that are royalty free, I've only liked about three of them. Ultra thick mega bass. Yeah, I see the bitrate isn't as high as I think it can be that or you're going conservative on the encode level. I know all YouTube apps look really good. Just wondering why you limit for Twitch. Um, so Wolf, uh, the deal is I'm actually at my parents' house right now and their internet is far uh, inferior to mine. So that's why my bit rate's low. Uh, I'm streaming right now at 2200 bit rate. I normally stream at about 32 or 3500 bit rate um, it, when I'm home, which should be a lot better. Uh, and I don't go higher than that. Uh, well, that's about... I, I can maybe go a little higher than that at home, but but not that much. Uh, because I only have 10 megabit upload. Which I, I think, like, I don't know how it converts, but I know that isn't like... I'll be back. Isn't like 3200 bit rate? That's, that's not like 3 megabits. I think it's more than that, isn't it? I'll be back. Um, but right now, that's why the bit rate's low, because I'm at my parents, and their internet isn't as good. Andres Drick, thank you for the follow. Welcome, and Plinko as well. And Freeze, greetings, salutations. To you too, how are you doing, Freeze? Um, like, I could try to raise it, but late at home. But lately, the, um... Lately, my internet's been acting up, so like, I'm, I was, I've been dropping frames even at like 3,000 bit rate, which was really frustrating. Dude, these bots, like, is there anything wrong with taking this wood out of my inventory? That's about the top The Twitch wants to ingest more, just curious since there's a noticeable difference between the two. Um, well, I mean, yeah. Plus two equals six. Uh, that's perfect. Hey, Lord Kerr. Um, so... Um, the, the thing is, the videos are done in a very different way. Like... The videos are... It's kind of hard to explain, but... The videos are such a quality that is just like not something you I can stream at unless I just get fiber or something. Um, cause like the videos I can, it, the video with the videos I can afford to make them super high quality because, it, like it's it's, I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> because. You know they can be pretty high quality and fairly big, and I can still upload them in a like at a decent time. Like if, it, or, or more like it doesn't matter as much how long it takes to upload them. You know, like if it takes me two hours to upload a video, that's not like that's doable, right? You know, whereas with streaming, it's like if I up my bitrate too much, it's just not gonna work. Period. Is kind of 
And then, I mean, Twitch, I think, can ingest more. It depends. Like, I think maybe they give higher priority to... Yeah, it's not real time. They give higher priority, I guess, to bigger streamers. Because, like, I, I watch some of the, re like, really big streamers. And, I mean, these guys stream at, like, 6,000 bit rate or more. I mean... So I think, like, Twitch may give them more flexibility with that, potentially. But, uh... Yeah. But for normal streamers, yeah, like, 3.5k. Um, I'm using 750 megawatts. How long are you staying your parents for? Um, I'm leaving tomorrow, Geeson. Alright, did we get our undergrounds and stuff? I'm gonna go ahead and grab even more of them. Th those. These. Back. Should be able to finish those belts at least. If I press the C key, C key at what in game? That does nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, no, Alien, I have to expand my power a ton before I turn it on. That's why it's not hooked up. <laughs> but I want to build it first. Okay. Uh, all these, all of those. I'm sure we're gonna need a ton of these, right? Seems legit. I'm trying to build a belt mega base too. Nice bits. How's it going? I'm gonna be out of the train. Yeah, dude. Good try. Good thing I had reflexes, bud. Nice try. Actually, the funny thing is that probably would have got me had I not had my mouse further away from myself. <laughs> like, this is like this is a perfect example of brain.exe not working. I literally, like, I was serious when I was saying I didn't, like, I didn't register that that was, I didn't remember that's what the C key did. Like, I thought it was, <laughs> like, some brilliant new feature. And I didn't also, I also didn't realize I had the nuke selected. So, I only survived because I happened to have my mouse far away from my body. <laughs> I need about 2k light furnaces down for iron. It should make 32 belts of iron. Nice. You did almost get me. And that would have been hilarious. Dude, at least I did it there and not where I'd already built something. Right? <laughs> that would have been, because it probably would have killed it. I mean, it would have killed a build had I not done it more in the open. 20 for four belts of steel, eight for the bus, four direct green circuits. Nice. That's definitely pretty good. Press C to pay respects. <laughs> hey Mojo, how's it going? Feel back up, that'll go to green circuits too. Nice. Sounds like a pretty good system to me. And we're already out of underground again. This is ridiculous. This build has, how many? Is this even the right build? I think so. 89 times seven. This thing has like 700 undergrounds or something absurd. It's, it's more than that even, I think. Priority splitters. They're so good. I should probably use them more, but. Oh man, this is coming along pretty nice. I gotta admit. Okay, let's uh, let's do some more belt routing. I want to see how we can get this copper into here. Yeah, underground's only stacked to fifty, which is kind of annoying. Uh, cold, so very cold. It's one degree. Is that Celsius, Mojo? Twenty-five 
Press tab, tab, C. <laughs> See, now, I, I thought about it for a second. You, you're not gonna get me again. You better not be Kelvin. 34 Fahrenheit. Oh, that's not that cold, dude. Good thing you don't visit here. It's like, easily gets down to like five degrees Fahrenheit at night. Or, or even during the day, some days. Did you raise the limit on the underground chest? Well, no, it's not, like usually it's not even done producing by the time I get back. Um, I wanted belt, that's what I wanted. Let's just take all the belt. Because I don't have any underground, so this isn't gonna get too far. Tap tap see is a salute. Press tab, 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 see? <laughs> um, okay, so we need, I don't know how many belts Hopewell said we needed. I think it was like 10 or something. Damn, dude. Well, dang, I don't remember. Um, it shouldn't be limited by lube. It's limited by gears or something. No, it's limited by lube. Of course it is. I'm gonna have to change this whole thing back again, which is really annoying. Uh, this is gonna be a bit more complicated than I thought. I think we need at least I don't know how many belts this needs. <laughs> Chest with undergrounds in it. Yes, correct. Um, well, I'm guessing we need at least six. So what we can do is make this go a lot quicker. Oh my god, Exterm's actually using blueprints. See, that's why I don't drag it, guys. That is why I don't <laughs> drag the blueprint. Sonic with the three bits. Craig has some blueprints. <laughs> Um, well, Jamor, where do I get the coal for that, though, man? There's no coal. Hang between the lines like a pro. Okay, that's probably far enough, or too far, even. Yeah, I actually, I don't remember how many lines help also we needed for this. Because this build, like, doesn't take two full belts of copper. It takes, like, one point something something. You have to be dragging coal back for plastic. Um, yeah, but not much. Not enough to do coal liquefaction on top of that. So there's a train bit, that would be fun. Yeah, wouldn't it? I think, um, can you do, I think you can do custom bit things. Cause I think Will does that, doesn't he? Doesn't Will have like inserters or something? I should be able to do that. I could probably do a train one. We need to go fix this loop problem. It's really annoying. Um, well, I should do that. I should do a train. And I should do, like... I don't know what else, but, I mean, a train would be a good start, right? Hey, six bits. Per six. Per zip. I don't know, I, I can't even say your name, dude. Thank you so much for the bits. 
Different tiers have different train avoiding stuff. Train avoiding stuff? How so? It's all the undergrounds we get, guys. Kappa. Jumps out from in front of it. Uh, all right, so lube. I guess we need to just change stuff over again. I mean, what's this called? Oh yeah, this was for military science. I could, well, this is coming after smelting. My lines are so convoluted, I actually have no idea. And thank you for the 10 bits as well. I actually really have no idea what's going on with these belts, but. <laughs> That's a lot of, that's work I don't really want to do, man. Oh, that was important. I'm out. I'm out. All right, see you later. Oh, you're out of bits. <laughs> you had a total of 16 bits. Nice. Now I have to watch more ads. Get going. That should help a bit, right? Is it this? This thing ain't doing so good. How are we on modules? I think we're actually probably like backed up. 265 plus whatever's in the train. Not bad, man. That was a good question. Um. Nothing? Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Huge spike. Survey bits? Is that a thing? That, that would be pretty cool. Shoot. Do any of you guys remember how many belts of uh, copper Hopewell said I needed? Blues are looking a little bit starved. 10? I thought 10 was for plastic, wasn't it? Wasn't like 10.5 for plastic and circuits? But staying outside the Orange Lodging Network. Nah, dude. It's obviously the bot's fault. Actually. No, 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 no. That's where I want to go. Never mind. I'm not confused, right? A little less than eight is what he says. Um, a little less than eight. Well, that's like not helpful. <laughs> How's that gonna work, man? I guess I could priority split the eighth one and then all the rest goes to the bus or something. What's the goal of this base? Um, to demonstrate how to do a belt mega base. And once we build it, we're done. Essentially. Wait, what? Why did we... Oh, we just didn't get any belt either because we have no lube. Well, that blows. There's just like nothing, man. We have no... We don't need this many of these either. Yikes. Wait, did we beacon this whole thing already? Yeah, not really. Okay. Yeah, Sternbot is not subbed. I could move train station closer to the build area, except I have no track. That's usually an important requirement for trains. 
Wait, so you're telling me... Hold up. I only need four belts. Plus a little for everything else. Seems like not right at all. Okay, so get rid of those. Mm. My brain hurts, guys. Right. 5.8. Something is not right. Do I need another copper smelter? Thank you so much for uh, gifting Extrembot the sub. He much appreciates it. Uh, okay, well, according, I unchecked everything, or I put everything back to what it was supposed to be. And this says we need 35.7 belts, which means we need 36 belts, essentially, which each smelter outputs two belts, which means that we need 18 smelters, right? And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, right. How am I gonna count this? Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I already lost count. Good lord, I can't, dude. Eyes not working. Nineteen, twenty, twenty. Wait, what? Why do I have like four extra smelters? What? Here more than me, and should use those emotes. Yeah, I should have them use emotes. I don't. What? I am so confused. Thanks for the bit, Sonic, with all the emotes. Nice. I don't understand. Like, what? How is... what? I'll no, I don't need 14 copper. I need less. Like, each build has... Uh, sorry, each bell has two inputs, but it really only needs like 1.1 or something stupid. Uh, Starbro, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Uh, like, I don't, I, I really don't understand. Why, do, why, why are there all these extra smelters? And then we're somehow short here as well. I literally don't understand at all. Well, we did build an extra surrogate build, so that would be one extra smelter. Ish. No, two extra smelt. Or, yeah, one. I don't get it. I'll Six. be back. One, two, so six. 1.1 gigawatts. Where's the golden kappa? <laughs> and air. 47dk. Thanks for the follow. I really, like, I don't, I, what, what? <laughs> Are you short or extra? I don't know, man. That's what I'm confused about. According to my calculator, I'm extra by, like, eight belts. But according to this, I'm short by like two belts. 
I, I, what? Okay, well, if we need more, co well, I guess we'll just add more copper smelters. <laughs> if we need them. That's the best solution. We'll just add I'll more if we need them, I guess, right? I am just confused. I don't know. There's overproduction and it's still not enough. Yeah, like I don't quite understand what is missing here, but. <laughs> oh well. Hey, Lucky RNG. Good evening, guys. I'm back from work. I hope you enjoyed the stream so far. I'm enjoying it. How are you doing, RNG? Need more bots for more faster. I need to turn on my brain and figure out what the heck's going on here. Bye bye, what? Is this Hmm. My dashboard says I'm offline, so I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Alright, you leaving alien? See you later. My dashboard's broken, apparently. Hey, JD, what's up, man? Can I make a prediction? Sure. Afternoon, Exterm. Everything is fine, then. <laughs> Use rubber duck debugging. I think I need Ducky on this map. Maybe, maybe he could help solve my problems. That's kind of... I, I think that may be a good idea. Um, all right, so man guys I do not understand like how what the deal is with this copper My brain really is not functioning at the moment We need a ducky doesn't will have a ducky blueprint somewhere I got a new job, more money, but a lot more things to do, but it's okay. A few more months and I got my, get my new PC. Nice. Man, that's awesome. You found a higher paying job. I mean, of course, you know, there's going to be more to do, but I hope you're at least enjoying it. And a new PC is fantastic. You're getting like the latest and greatest. All right, well, these run down. I need to figure out how to balance them first, so I can't really do much with that. Hmm. Put it on a des map. <laughs> GTX eleven seventy. I didn't even know that was a thing. How much is that gonna be? Do you think like twelve hundred dollars? I don't know where would where would Will have put the ducky blueprint? I wonder. Not it. Oh, no, no. I don't know where he put the ducky blueprint. I estimate 400, 480. Wait, so the GTX 1170 is worse than the 1080? I'm confused. Wrong shell unit build need to be made slightly bigger to make the spaghetti easier. RCU meaning rocket, right? Which means blue chips need to be made bigger, which means red chips need to be bigger than green chips. 
And then four more smelters, two copper and two iron need to be added. I'm so confused, JD. Is this for your base or mine? What? <laughs> I'm so confused, man. Oh yeah, no, okay, raw control units, right? And then the blue circuits. I see. The eleven eighty for a thousand dollars. Dude, that's like pretty much almost not quite. It's almost how much. That's like almost how much my entire computer cost. Uh, when I'm rich, or someone rich, richer than a few people <laughs> is in my channel and wants to buy me that, that'll be the day I get it. See, PC is more than 10 years old. I really need a new one, Disrefactor, and of course, Satisfactory. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, Satisfactory is going to probably require a decent video card. 10 years old, that's pretty old. I mean, yeah, an upgrade definitely sounds like it's needed. Also, overproduction to make spaghetti easier, I figure will happen right at one of the final items and cascade backwards. Probably. It's probably going to end up in a huge disaster of me not having enough stuff. Because of the reason you just stated. And if that's the case, then I'm gonna have to just contract Mojo to come in here and fix everything. Or you. Because <laughs> I will have about had it with uh, this belt stuff. Now we're limited on gears, and there's not really a decent way to make this fast. I mean, I could rearrange chess. Alright, I don't want my RAM to get a new GPU, especially since my previous second monitor broke, so I upgraded to a 4K display. Nice! My 1060 may need an upgrade for Satisfactory. Yeah, mine too, Sonic. I wish video cards weren't so inflated right now. Do nukes count? I mean, you're welcome to nuke it, JD, if you want to uh, rebuild it all. That's the uh, caveat there. I don't know, guys. My brain's about to explode. Because until I can figure out a good way to distribute these... I don't, I can't really connect them. Like, this is gonna be, I don't really know a good way to distribute these. I'm gonna argue it fairly decently. Oh, that's not bad. Bots rebuild. Oh, change it to bots? I'd be up for that. Or Queen would say, no, I don't want to assimilate that ancient PC. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the last belt base I'm ever making, man. I can't wait to go back to bot mega bases. A balancer? I won't I don't think that'll work too well. Satisfactory doesn't need a lot of GPU power. I find that very surprising and potentially not the case. So JD, the problem is uh, the way these red circuit builds are built is um, they require like, so they have two copper input belts, right? They have two blue belts of copper, but they only actually require like 1.1 or something, like 1.1 belts of copper. So obviously you need a second one because you can't fit 1.1 on one belt, but like the second belt needs to only barely be full. So we somehow need to distribute these like seven and three quarters belts I'm sending down here through these like in a fashion that it's actually going to work, if that makes sense. And, and I can't think of a decent way to make that happen. Uh, I mean, probably something with priority splitters, but I can't really think to how many inputs. 
uh, 14 inputs. Seven builds. So it would be 14 inputs. Balance down each line to a red and yellow line, and then just weave through a blue and yellow line. I think a yellow line may even be too much, though. Uh, correct, JD. Yeah, that's why it's annoying. It's a full blue, and then like 0.1 of a blue per build. And that all needs to come from like 7.9 or 7.8 blue belts. I'll be back. Or 7.7 .7 or whatever. Well, unfortunately, that's not um, doable in this base, RNG. Um, because I, I'm going full belt, but... Cascading priority. <laughs> hey, it's Exterminator. Hey, it's Lemon. How's it going? Card can barely run Battlefield 3 with 60 FPS. <laughs> um, Doc Dat Boy, thanks for the follow, and Katana, thanks for the follows. I have a question for you. All right, shoot, go for it. Do 8 to 16 and then just not use two inputs. That's possible. I'll be back. I don't know, like, I don't know that a balancer is really going to do what we need it to do, though. Uh, yes, Katana, I'm, this is a single-player map. So take all the full belts and connect them in, then use seven splitters on the seventh belt and make it into each build. You don't need priority. It will self-balance after it backs up. Will that really work, though? I mean, wouldn't that give priority to the first one, though, JD, just by nature? I mean, I'm down to try that, for sure. We won't know if it works until I turn everything on, but... Okay. Well, let's do that, then. Okie dokie. A while back, I seen you made a few videos on a Biders mod. It was a PvP mod, if I remember correctly, and you'd build Biders to fight the other player with. Do you know if that mod is still being worked on, and if so, do you know where I can find it? <clears throat> uh, can you specify a while back? I mean, I did a PvP series, like, three years ago that involved... Uh, having biter capsules that you could throw out and it would spawn biters for PvP. Is that what you're talking about? Or was it like a mod spotlight? First we'll get 50%, second we'll get 25, so on and so forth till they back up and then get 0.1 each. Okay, fair enough. Got a good calculator for how much FPS in a game of your choice with a certain price limit. Oh, is that like uh, NZXT or something, Carlos? Um, I don't think it does. It doesn't stuff like that only look at mainstream games. Like I don't think they know games like Satisfactory, right? Isn't it like when I looked at NZXT, they just did like the top ten games or something. Okay, so what we need to do then is somehow splitter these. Okay, so what if we did... If 
we did something like this. No, nope, wrong. Nope. Oh, wait, no, that's right. Might run on engine other games use as well. Just take a game with the same engine. Well, how are you going to know it's the same engine? What about two banks? Feed in two belts to each build and one with priority splitter, pass overflow to a second bank with the right ratio. Um, that could work, Pawn. For sure. That's kind of the solution I was thinking of, but it made my head hurt too much. Um, I think this solution may work though. Terminator three years ago, you did a PvP series of first... Yes. Um, yes. That's what I thought you were talking about, Lemon. Uh, that mod was made by Fist Sandwich, who had the series idea, and he stopped doing anything Factorio related a very long time ago. So unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that mod is completely non-existent at this point. Uh, someone could probably remake one, though. It would actually probably be even easier now to make one. Because they need to show the logo. Um, yeah, like 1.2k. Um, I would pay like one and like 1.5k max. Yeah, fish is like gone altogether. I mean, I paid one point. 2k for my current computer and that was when graphics cards and ram were way cheaper than they are now so i can't i would have to pay more if i want something better i would imagine okay maybe it's a little more than 1.2k but my pc is worth 2.3k but i have to multitask along with playing other games. Damn, dude, that's really good. Hey, bro, how are you doing? It's been a long time. They're just using Unreal Engine. Don't quote me on this, but they use UE for goal. Go Simulator, maybe same engine again. I'm not sure if they're using uh, Unreal. Uh, maybe if you can find out what engine they're u they use for Sanctum, because I would imagine maybe they would use a similar engine to that. Like, use the same engine they use for Sanctum for Satisfactory. 0.5k CDM, but this is when the 600 TI was considered strong. Been a bit man, Factorio. Yeah, I can definitely understand that. If you're building a PC for games from scratch, you'll get Ryzen AP APUs as way to sidestep GPU prices. What the hell is that? Ryzen APUs? What? Is that like a built-in? Um, well, you could check for UE then. G CPU plus GPU on one chip. That sounds like terrible. That sounds like horrible for gaming. How are we gonna do this? These need to like, shoot. How is this gonna work? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, yeah, bud. How's this supposed to work?
Um, so who was it that was going to look at NCXT? Carlos. Um, so I don't know if you're looking, Carlos. I'd be interested, like, what FPS... Like, if you can find a game on NZXT that uses Unreal Engine, and then for a computer with, like, 1.5k budget or something. Uh, these belts make my head hurt. What? <laughs> what is happening? I mean, this is kind of pointless to do this, I suppose. See, this is pointless as well. Um, Unreal 4 experience. Yeah, it probably uses UE4 then. I've created an abomination, yep. Going to consume your CPU? I mean, maybe. Um... I literally have lost track of, like, oh, where my belts go, dude. <laughs> I actually have no idea where any of this stuff is going right now. Oh wait, that's like... Mm, this is getting very messy. Shoot. Ugh. Okay. Um... Great. <laughs> Oh, jeez, man. Um, sure. You're gonna come down here, and then you're gonna, like, somehow do something like this. I don't know how the plastic's supposed to get in here. We're probably gonna have to rearrange everything again just to get the damn plastic here, honestly. And wait, hold up. But, oh jeez. Yeah, because now the plastic is not going to have room to go anywhere. I mean, I know what goes where, kind of. Yeah, I could do constant combinators. This is going to make my brain explode. Uh, plastic, I guess, could come, like, farther, like, to this side, and then just underground that way, which kind of defeats the purpose of how this works, but, or, not that, this, but, oh well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Is it gonna be fun, right? Uh, alright, so then you can come down, I guess we'll just max length it. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. We're watching Mom's Spaghetti Live! It's a good idea, use different belts, red and yellow, and then use the upgrade plan to upgrade to blue when you're done. Wait, why? You mean just to keep track of things?
Fortnite is using Unreal 4. Is it really? Okay, well then try it with Fortnite. Uh, okay, so, uh, so there's that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Starting to get somewhere, kind of. I have I have no idea how plastic is supposed to get in here, to be honest, guys. And uh, thank you so much for the. I missed it. Thank you so much for the sub. Uh, Quiet skate. Sorry, I missed that. Thanks so much for that prime sub. Much appreciated. I uh, I really apologize. I try not to take that long to catch those, but uh, the belts had my mind consumed. Stop it. I'll be back. Uh, Kellen Kyle Moore, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Whoops. I done goofed. Let's get rid of this blueprint. Fifteen hundred dollars you get I'll be sixty eight FPS with Fortnite with a ten seventy in Fortnite. Um Well that must be for max settings, Carlos, right? Because, like, I have a 1060, and if I turn down a few settings, I can get, like, 90 FPS in Fortnite. Or more. See, I don't really trust sites like that. It's time for my nap. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's time for snack time and dinner time and uh i bet thank you for the follow welcome and we're at about great and highest settings okay yeah i mean so i mean like that's very um very hard to tell because everyone's thing is different so like you know, for satisfactory, you may not run it at full settings, and that could give you a lot more, or you may not be using a 1440p monitor. I'll be back. Um, but the other thing to consider, which, where you can't really compare, like, a game like Fortnite and, re and Satisfactory, is Fortnite is pretty much always constant in regards to its graphical demand, right? Um, the thing with Satisfactory, though, is it's like you're actually building, like, an effort, like an expanding factory. So, like, that, w w what you show, like, for that build is obviously... is, is going to change drastically because, like, it depends how big of a factory you build. Like, like is that FPS number for when you first start the game and there's nothing on the map? Is it for when there is like 10 things on the map? Is it when your factory fills the entire map? And it's like, there's no way to really know. You know, well, the amount of players shouldn't affect your GPU. I don't, I don't think the, I don't think players in Fortnite really affect your graphical thing.
Uh, you only have to render what you see. Depends my might impact your CPU load. Some of the newer games are CPU locked in high settings. True. Yeah, but CPU is different than GPU, right? I have a 1080 I let my frames 144 because I have 144 if I remove the cap I can get this really makes this make the graphic card max out and generate more heat doesn't change my gameplay experience at all yeah I'll be back uh P uh P. Simon, thanks for the follow, and Social Mustard, thanks for the follow. Alright, I want to finish these belts, and uh, then we may call it. Yeah, I mean, there's really no point to go higher than your refresh rate. Definitely agree. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, this copper actually worked out a bit better than I thought it would, to be honest, which is good. I always make at least one mistake. Jeez. I just can't draw a straight line of belts. Uh, so what gives? Um, what gives is I screwed up. Dang it. There we go. <laughs> Whoever said I missed a belt was correct. There we go. This doesn't look too messy ish. Nox Corner, is this Mega Base from your Mega Base series on YouTube? Uh, yes, it is. Yep, this is the Tightening the Belt base from the series. I do uh, a lot of the like off camera work here on stream.
Actually, I forgot about these belts when I was uh, having issues with my copper calculations earlier. This may actually be enough. Or I may need another smelter, I don't know. <laughs> we will have to find out. So there were those belts go down. You could do plastic to the left with its refinery to the right. What, here? Yeah, I kind of wanted to do the refinery over here, though, because this is where all the oil is, but I may end up doing it, like, up here or something. Or over here, actually, would maybe be more ideal. This would actually be a great place. I would just have to get the oil over here. Because uh, the bus obviously isn't going to start till like, over here, so this would get plenty of room for oil. <clears throat> I'm, like, 30 episodes behind, waiting till I can catch up myself in-game. No worries. Uh, then this is probably some pretty big spoilers for you. <laughs> but, uh, that's cool you're, like, following along, though. That's awesome. Uh, plenty of room for oil move the whole bill over by 10 tiles. Don't even start with that crap, man. <laughs> I may also not know how big it needs to be for that many circuits. Um, well, the oil build itself needs to be quite large, but it should still fit in, like, this general area. I I'll landfill, like, these little lakes, and then I can probably build it up here and it should fit. Theoretically. Um, but... I am like, my voice is almost starting to go, guys. For some reason, streaming two days in a row kind of does that to me. Um, so I may call it, I think, because, uh, I mean, the next step would be to, like, make a blue circuit build or oil build on my brain. <laughs> Brain.exe is currently maxed out and not capable of such a task. Um... So I think I'm going to call it. I'm actually really happy with what we got done. Getting this connected was a huge thing because I was having a major headache over this. And this is mostly built except for this in part. We do need to fit, build this out even more underground. It's kind of ridiculous. I may just let the base like AFK for a bit to build up undergrounds. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. Um, a mod spotlight went out today. If you uh, earlier today, if you want to check that out. Pretty cool little uh, power pole addition. And uh, the stream VOD, if you missed it, will either be in my VODs here or it will go on YouTube probably tomorrow. And uh, I'll be doing uh, other videos, uh, of course, for the rest of the week. But I think I'm going to call it, guys. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. There's tons of follows. Thank you for all the follows and the subs and the bits. Um, very much appreciated, as always. And... Uh, I think, let me see if there's someone I can host here. I don't know who any of these people are. Um, I could host somebody random. I don't even see anybody in general that I know who's streaming. Hmm. Racist. Uh, yeah, Vex is a known racist. Confirm. Kappa. I'm saying who all is streaming. Um, all right. Thank you for the stream. Uh, have a good one. Good night, everyone. All right. See you later, guys. Have a great rest of the day. Thanks again for stopping by, and uh, 
I will send it over to somebody playing Factorio uh, once I figure out who. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Have a good night.